do this one. So how do you draw a laurel spur? Let me show for one of them. Percentage of population. Percentage of income. So society A has thousand, 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 thousand. So seven people are earning thousand. Right? For society A, seven people are earning thousand. So the first person is earning thousand, second is earning thousand, third is earning thousand, fifth, sixth, seven, and then two thousand, two thousand, two thousand. Right? If I sum the income, what income will I get? 6,000 and 7,000. 13,000? This will be your income. 13,000. Now, if I find out the percentage of population, right? So just see here. This is the first person. So 1 out of 10 people in 200. It means 10% of the population. And how much money is it earning? 10% of the population is earning 1000 rupees. Right? So 1000 divided by 13,000 into 100. So it will be 1 by 13 into 100. Just give me this number. Okay. Then now I will have two people together. It's always cumulative in nature. So, two people. So, now I have two people. So, what will be the percentage of population? 2 by 10 into 100. So, that means 20% of the population. How much money are they earning? They are earning 2000 rupees out of 13,000. So, they are earning 2000 out of 13,000. So, 2 by 13 into 100. We will get some number here. Then there are three people. So, 30% of the population. How much money are they earning? They are earning 3,000 out of 13,000. So, 3 by 13 into 1,000, into 100. You will get some percentage here. Just follow the same process. Here I have now four people. So, 40% of population, 50% of population, 60%, 70%, 80%, 90%, 100%. There is always a line of equality that we need to draw at 100, 100. So, if I just zoom this figure, it's like this. 10% of the population, 20%, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90 and 100. This will be your line of equality. Okay. Achha, now, what? Just can you just quickly solve this? Just do 100 by 13, 200 by 13, and give me the numbers here. What number will we get? So, 100 divided by 13. This is 7.69. This is 15.38. Like that. So, what we are saying is that first 10% of the population is earning 7% of the income. And this line of equality, this stands at 10 against 10. Manet is earning less. It is earning 7%. As such. Then next 20% should have earned 20%. But it is earning 15.38. So, here If this is 20, then this is 15.38. Okay. As in, if you keep doing, let's find first 50% of the population. So, we will have their total earning 5,000, right? So, this will be 5 by 13 into 100. Okay. First 70% of the population, they are earning 7,000. So, 7 by 13 into 100. You will get some numbers. You will get some numbers. So, you will find that first 70% of the population Instead of earning 70% of the income, here it is 70% of the income, they are earning 7 by 13 into 100. So that will come as 7 divided by 13 
इनटू हंड्रेड दैट मींस फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द इनकम यहाँ कहीं पे फिफ्टी थ्री परसेंट ऑफ द इनकम हियर सो ऐसे करके यू विल बी एबल टू गेट सम लॉरेंस कर व्हिच विल बी समवेयर ओवर हियर इट हैज टू अल्टीमेटली टच दिस हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ पीपल हैव टू अर्न हंड्रेड परसेंट ऑफ द इनकम ऐसे करके यू विल गेट अ लॉरेंस कर लाइक दिस this is your first lorenz curve that you will be getting lorenz curve a where will the king come jahan pe income mein change aayega yahan tak to sab same hi earn kar rahe the 1000 1000 1000 1000 hai na so here you will see that there will be like this it will be increasing like this but then people start earning 2000 na so you will notice ki yahan par at 70% after that people are earning 2000 2000 so you will see that the slope of this lorenz curve will change now think about the next one ye wala hai 1000 1000 1000 1000 mane the slope for initial 5 will be the same and then 2000 2000 2000 mane the slope will change after the first 5 so when you will draw the next lorenz curve i am giving you as a homework but when you will be drawing the next lorenz curve you will notice that for first 50% you will have one slope and for the next 50% you will have a different slope jaise yahan pe 70% pe hai so you will find out that yes at some point the two lorenz curve will cross each other right and with practice you will understand this thing that as long as income is same the slope remains the same जैसे ही इनकम टेक्स अ टर्न इनकम फ्लक्चुएट्स जैसे यहां पर आफ्टर 50 परसेंट इट हैज गॉन टू 2000 यहां पे आफ्टर 70 परसेंट इट हैज गॉन टू 2000 सो हियर आफ्टर 50 परसेंट आई मस्ट चेंज द स्लोप टू इंक्रीजिंग स्लोप एंड हियर आफ्टर 70 परसेंट आई विल चेंज द स्लोप टू एन इंक्रीजिंग स्लोप सो हियर डेफिनेटली द लॉरेंस कर विल क्रॉस इच अदर राइट so this is what will be the answer to this question that the lorenz curve for the distributions will cross each other but i am giving you as a homework take out time this will help you understand the concept of lorenz curve in detail try to plot each and every number on this lorenz curve like we are doing here do it for country a also and country b also so try to understand how the lorenz curve will be shown okay